What we've seen over the past year is a huge increase in receiving these reports. It's a concerning trend in our city where youth are becoming victims to sextortion. It could happen to anyone. Uh, our youth are specifically uh, exploited because the increased relationships online that are occurring with people they haven't met before. Sextortion, which is also a form of blackmail, is when a predator online threatens to send sexually explicit pictures or videos of the victim if they are not paid money or given more sexual content. So what we're seeing with kids is a lot more time on Instagram and Snapchat. Um, and through that, there's uh, increased ability for them to be exploited. LPS say this year they have received 43 reports of blackmail and extortion, which doubled from the previous year. That's one thing that we're working with our school divisions is how can we incorporate digital citizenship, online safety presentations. We do have a digital citizenship um, scope and sequence kind of a curriculum that is uh, available for students to learn through their teachers. The Holy Spirit Catholic School Division says in part with supporting their students, they offer a user agreement, which ultimately opens up the conversation of safe technology use. You know, it encourages parents to monitor what their what their children are doing. Social media and apps and all these things are not going away. It's very much a part of what students and all of us are engaged in. The Lethbridge School Division echoing that sentiment in a statement they say teaching students how to responsibly and safely use technology is a shared responsibility. Reading in part, the division will continue to provide educational and skill building opportunities to support students and families. LPS say of the 43 reports filed to them, they have not resulted in any charges to date. They're also encouraging parents to have those important conversations with their kids about the potential risks of sextortion. For Bridge City News, I'm Angela Stewart.